In this photograph Chris Donovan took for the Globe and Mail, Audrey Parker holds a friend's hand as she says goodbye before dying by medically assisted death. Ms. Parker had terminal cancer and decided to take her own life, but sooner than she would have liked because she was worried that brain cancer would eventually impede her ability to provide consent as required under the law governing medically assisted death. Judges said Donovan's photo had a powerful combination of composition, lighting, and emotional impact. Andrew Vaughn of the Canadian Press captured this image of fog shrouding the waterfront during flooding in Fredericton. Everything seems to stand upright, from the parking meters and signs partly underwater to the pedestrians staying dry on a higher patch of ground nearby. Judges said this was a nice found moment with much going for it. The contrast of light and silhouettes, the repetitive reflections, and the four separated characters along the horizontal line all contribute to the visual appeal. This, judges said, is what feature images are all about. Gavin Young of the Calgary Herald and Sun was at the Calgary Stampede one day last summer when he found an image depicting a surprising oasis of calm on the otherwise raucous midway. Judges praised the contrast color and composition of quiet moment at a busy place, and noted that showing the Calgary Stampede logo on the wagon gives the photo a sense of place. One judge said this picture has all the exuberance of summer fun with color, movement, and even a bit of introspection. The award for feature photo goes to Chris Donovan. Shadows are falling and I'm running out of breath Keep me in your heart for a while If I leave you it doesn't mean I love you All right. Thank you. Um, Audrey described herself to me as a uh, extrovert in the truest sense and that she loved to be the center of attention, so I'm sure that she's smiling somewhere right now. Um, if you think the Maritimes are small, uh, you're right. Um, to give you an example, at this, this was her last party um, before she passed and uh, two of my uncles on one side of the family were present and, and an aunt on the other side of my family, so if you're wondering if I know your cousin from St. John, the answer is probably yes. Um, <laughs> So I want to thank the Globe, um, especially the visuals team. A uh, big thank you to Tim McKenna, who is my editor on this. And yeah, big shout out to Tim, uh, <laughs> who uh, didn't hesitate to tell me to, you know, head out to Halifax to cover this. Uh, also Jessica Leader, who um, was happy to pick this story up and did a fantastic job writing it. Uh, I also want to thank Andrew Vaughn, who's over here somewhere, who uh, I was honored to be nominated with. He was one of the first photojournalists, working photojournalists that I ever met when I was just a young uh, kid from New Brunswick that liked photography, and he made me feel like I could do this for a living, so thank you for that. Um, and I also want to thank my uh, soon-to-be wife, Tess, uh, who doesn't bat an eye when I tell her I need to head to Halifax in two hours. Um, and. Uh, Last but not least, um, Audrey's dying wish was for people to support um, an amendment called Audrey's Amendment that's being pushed by Dying with Dignity Canada um, to remove late stage consent requirements for people with terminal illnesses that are, will impede their ability to consent. Um, so if that's something you care about, please um, write to your representatives and uh, thank you very much.